So do you think there's a difference between consciousness and self-consciousness? You said consciousness has a self-reflexiveness to it, but right. some consciousness does. Yes. So philosophers have talked a lot about this. And at present, I don't want to get into that. I just want to get the thin end of the wedge in there and say they have subjective experience. So for something to have subjective experience, does that not imply that it's conscious? Like, who is the subjective experience happening to? Where is the subjective experience being felt? Okay, exactly. So you say, where is the subjective experience being felt? Um, that involves having a particular model of subjective experience that somehow... If you ask philosophers, when I say I've got the subjective experience of little pink elephants floating in front of me, they'll say, and you say, where are those little pink elephants? They say they're in your mind. And you say, well, what are they made of? And philosophers will tell you they're made of qualia. They're made of pink qualia, and elephant qualia, and floating qualia, and not that big qualia, and right way up qualia, all stuck together with qualia glue. Uh -huh. um, that's what philosoph many philosophers think. Um, and that's because they made a linguistic mistake. They think the words experience of work like the words photograph of. If I say I've got a photograph of little pink elephants, you can very reasonably ask, well, where is the photograph? And what's the photograph made of? And people think that if I say I have an experience of little pink elephants, you can ask, well, where is the experience? Well, it's in my mind. And what's it made of? It's made of qualia. But that's just nonsense. That's because you thought the words experience of work the same way as photograph of. And they don't. Experience of, the way that works, or subjective experience of, is the subjective says, I don't believe it. And the experience of is really an indicator that I'm going to tell you about my perceptual system by telling you about a hypothetical state of the world. That's how that language works.